This is the only gift wrapping video you'll ever need to see because here I show you secret professional tactics and how you can amaze everyone who receives a gift from you with simple means. For the first trick, let's wrap gifts kimono style. To do this, you should use wrapping paper that is large enough to be flush with the gift on one side and cover at least three quarters of the gift when you fold the other side over. And if you fold it over sideways, both sides should cover at least half of the gift. Then you have the right size of wrapping paper. Now we come to the easy way to fold the whole thing. Start by placing it flush against the back of your gift. Now you should pull the upper part over, make sure that everything fits snugly against the gift and then you can fix the whole thing here with adhesive tape. Then comes the next step. You'll be amazed at how easy it really is and how good the end result looks. Make sure that you now press it to the side as you can see in my picture, so that you have a wing at the top and bottom. Again make sure that it fits nicely at the corners. Now draw a smooth line across the wrapping paper. Do the same at the bottom and top. Once you have done this on one side, repeat this step on the other side. Pull everything into the center again. Make sure that everything fits snugly and then walk along the wrapping paper so that it folds into place. Now comes the most important part. Grab the first top wing and fold it over the gift as you can see me doing. Make sure that everything is really tight there. Now do the same thing with the wing on the other side. Once you have done this, you can make it really tight here. Trace the edge again and then secure it with a piece of tape to hold it in place. Now take the first lower wing and repeat this step. And do the same again with the second lower sash. Again make sure that everything fits snugly, run the edges along once and secure with a piece of adhesive tape. Now only the underside is missing. You should now fold this piece over a little, as you will see it later and it will look even prettier. Here you can already see how beautiful the gift will really look in the end. Now we need to seal the bottom piece. To do this, we proceed as at the beginning. In other words, press the whole thing in here in the center so that we get an upper and a lower wing. Run the edges along again so that it is pre-folded. And now we'll go to the top side and fold over this tip that you can see, because you'll see it later. And of course we don't want that. Now we just have to fold the whole thing upwards, press it against the gift and fold the top part downwards. Now pull everything tight Fix it with a piece of adhesive tape and the whole thing is wrapped up. You can even put a card in the slits. This means they also have a function, but of course they also look really beautiful. But wait until you see the other ingenious gift wrapping tricks. For the second trick, we need any small empty tin. For example, these small tins of crisps are really good for this. All you need to do here is cut some wrapping paper to the size of the tin. You can now wrap this perfectly around the tin. Secure it with a piece of adhesive tape. You can put the lid back on and simply stick a little bow like this on it. This makes the whole thing looks really beautiful and you can put smaller gifts that might not be so easy to wrap inside. But what do you do if you have a gift that you can't wrap so easily? Why don't you try out this trick? Take a larger piece of wrapping paper and fold one side over by about one centimeter. On the other side you should now fold about half of the wrapping paper. Now fold the whole thing back over the top here and stick it together. You have now created a kind of small bowl. Now take about a third of the bottom part and fold it upwards, as you can see in my picture. Go along the edge once, push it up again and fold it inwards, as you can see, so that you have now folded it into a square. Once you have done this, you should now fold the top and bottom tips towards you, so that they touch and are completely closed at the end. You can now secure the whole thing with a piece of adhesive tape so that it doesn't fall apart. You can also press the top side down and run it along the edges to pre-fold it a little. Now you can place it in front of you and, as you can see here, you have made a gift bag. All you have to do now is place what you want to give in the top. And then you have to close it from the top. Here's how you do it. Simply fold it down a few times until it is completely closed and you have created a straight edge. Secure it at the top with some adhesive tape. Ideally, you should also add a sticky bow, because then the gift looks really nice at the end and you will have made your own gift bag. And even many professionals don't know the next trick. Because here I'll show you a secret function for wrapping round items super quickly and easily. Make sure that the wrapping paper is big enough so that you can go round the round object once. It should also cover half of the top and bottom. Now wrap it around the gift and secure it with adhesive tape. You should now make a cut every centimeter right up to the gift. 
Then you can simply fold the individual small strips over the gift. Go right along the edge at the back so that it lies straight against your gift. And just fix the whole thing in place with adhesive tape at the end. And you can wrap round gifts perfectly. You can also add a bow if you want it to look even prettier. That way you don't just have to fold the suite, you can wrap the whole thing a little prettier. And with our next trick, you can even save a good amount of wrapping paper. Because instead of putting it on the wrapping paper and wrapping it, it's much easier. All you have to do is turn the gift. Turn it so that one end of the wrapping paper is facing one side of the gift. The important thing is that all four corners of the gift should be covered when you pull them over each other. It doesn't matter if there's still some space on the side, just make sure the corners are covered. Now start with one corner and place it over the gift so that it lies flat on its side. Secure this with a piece of adhesive tape. Once you have made sure that both edges are covered on the bottom side. Now go up with the first side and push it to the side so that it is flush with the gift. Go along the edge once, place it over the top and secure it again with some adhesive tape. Turn the gift over and do the same again on the other side. Press in lightly here, pull this piece upwards, align it slightly so that it is flush and simply place it over the gift and fix it in place with adhesive tape. Now only one side is missing. It's a bit tricky here, but it's actually relatively easy. All you have to do is press both sides in at the same time, pull the whole thing back up, align it slightly on both sides so that it is flush again. Pull it over the gift, secure it with adhesive tape and the gift is completely wrapped. You've wrapped it accurately at all corners. It looks very nice and you've even managed to save on wrapping paper. But for the next trick I'll show you how you can even wrap a gift without tape. But that's not all, because it has a secret function that I'll show you at the end. Here's what you need to do. You should cut your wrapping paper so that it fulfills the following criteria. You must be able to place it over the gift. It must be flush on one side as you can see above. Now you should also pull the other side of the wrapping paper over, which must then be flush with the other side of the gift. This is where you need to cut it. This means that the top side must be able to be covered twice. Now you should lay the wrapping paper on top of each other, so that you have formed the funnel shape. Cut off everything that sticks out at the top, because we need a rectangular piece of wrapping paper. Now you should place the gift on top and turn it sideways again, so that one edge of the wrapping paper is facing one long side of your gift. Now place it on top so that all four corners are just covered by wrapping paper. This isn't the case for me now, so I have to push it a little until these edges are just covered by the wrapping paper. Now go all the way around the edges so that everything is pre-folded. I do the same here at the bottom at the tip. Go along the edges once so that it is pre-folded a little. Now also carefully lift the gift, but don't move it anymore. And also go along these edges here once. Now open it again, don't move the gift at all and pull the other side over and repeat exactly the same steps here. The only difference is that we now carefully place the tip under the gift. It should be nice and tight at the end. Now go to the first side, press it in the center, then pull it upwards so that it is flush with the edge. Now you can place it over the gift and run it along the edge once. Just make sure that the wrapping paper does not overlap. If it is a little too far inside, it doesn't matter because you won't see it later. Now simply repeat this step with the other side. Pull it up, align it a little so that it is more or less flush, pull it over and run it along the edge. If one side is still slightly overlapping the gift, you can simply fold it in. If not, you can also leave it as it is, as I'm doing now. Now you just have to close it here at the top. To do this, you have to push both sides in a little at the same time. Carefully pull the whole thing upwards and then align it again a little so that it fits on top of each other at the end so that it is more or less flush with the two sides. Now you only have this longer tip at the front. You can simply push it in through the resulting flap. Push the whole thing in so far that it is flush here too. Go over it once more and it's all wrapped up. And the secret hiding place here is that you can now even put a card inside to store it well. By the way, have you ever heard of these 11 things that everyone always does wrong? Make sure you watch the video and check whether you've always done it wrong. Click on the image in the video now.